Hello. I have decided since my speaking voice is so quiet, I'm going to try to remember to turn it up in between songs. All right, I hope you're doing well. Oh, my lighting is a little dim. Is that better? I don't know. Keep out the ghosts. There, I turned my light up all the way. Well, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know how I sound. Uh, I don't see my comments. Let me, let me pull those up. I always like to pull up the Facebook comments separate. Oh, hi, Nick. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Yay. Once there's one person, it's on. Um, feel free to let me know how the sound is. <coughs> In my ears, I think it, it sounds okay the way it is. But every time I touch the knobs, it, it gets a little out of control. There. There we go. I'm in the spotlight again. <sighs> just centering myself. I just had, instead of strawberry milkshake, milkshake, I made myself a cherry milkshake. And it was like this pink lavender color. And it just it felt super on brand for this uh, alter ego. Um, uh, I was <laughs> explaining in my sound check that I've named her Violet because she's dressed like a violet. This is green. We got some some purple up here, and <laughs> just in case you're colorblind, which I know a lot of people actually are, a lot of a lot of dudes. I think it's actually an evolutionary advantage because it helps you to see tracks of blood if all you can really see is like a super saturated red. But I digress. Um, yeah, so I'm having a sugar high feeling a little scattered but why don't we do a little music oh I'm so glad it sounds good thank you so much for telling me I know Maddie's gonna check but he's also working so poor thing um, oh, oh to be a partner of a musician <laughs> you gotta be really cute that's all to make up for it Um, I guess because I'm having a sugar high, I have to play the more upbeat song. Uh, if you're on my newsletter, um, this is a song called Granite Bones. Well, the working title is Granite Bones. I've been told I can turn up the volume, so I might just do that. I'll just turn up the main the main volume. I think that's the best idea. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, Granite Bones. I made a demo of it, and today I whipped up a live version of it. So let's see how it goes. Now I just have to find the words. <laughs> they fell down. I'm close to memorizing it, but we're not there yet. Hey, Bob. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Just when I thought that I could feel it 
Turning my vocal up while I'm talking, cause I'm a quiet little lady named Violet. I could just sing instead of talk. That would solve the problem too. <laughs> Let's see. 
I've got multiple people helping me with the sound. Thank you. Uh, it's pretty good. Oh, good, good, good. Volume is dialed for once in my entire life. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, eventually, if I could monetize live streaming, I could pay somebody to do this for me. But I feel I've got a lot of s awesome sound people in my tribe, so I think I can. I think I can crowd surf on the sound checking. Thank you. So glad you enjoyed it. That was my first time performing it ever, so hopefully it'll get even better. Yay. Um, yeah, since the wig was such a hit last time, I found the only other wig in our house and put it on today, and I am enjoying it. Uh, I think the length gives it away that it's a wig, because achieving this kind of hair would just, like, probably cost so much time and energy and money. <laughs> well, I guess not if you get, like, the crappy dye. I'm scared to dye my hair because your brain is right there and the chemicals. I just, I've got enough, enough health issues. I do not need that. <sighs> and like this song is talking about, you know, I wish there was something I could do for the planet. Well, I don't have to dye my hair with weird chemicals. That's my contribution today. I'm just wearing an old wig. I have been wanting to do this next song for a million years. No, for a couple of few years. And it really came together. I was really productive this morning, so I'm so glad we did this. Um, it's a song called Medicine by Daughter. And it always hits me real deep because I have one fairly close friend, one not so close friend, and one acquaintance who I believe have passed away, killed themselves, trying to get off of SSRIs. Most doctors should know this by now. Maybe, I don't, I don't know if they should be illegal or what, but um, yeah, it's really, really bad to just go take them and then not, not take them. <laughs> Makes you go crazy. Don't do it. Um, yeah, just tell everybody you know, because I don't want to lose any more really special people in my life. <sighs> but yeah, let's see how this goes. I also need the words for this because it's so new. So also when it's not my song, <laughs> I struggle with the words even more. If it's not written in my heart. Still be what 
you want to, what you said you were when I met you. You could still be what you want to, what you said you were when I met you. Wow, <laughs> that was really fun. <laughs> Fun's not the right word. Um, cathartic? Uh, not quite the right word. Dramatic. I love feeling the feels. Mm. <laughs> um, did you feel something too? Oh. Yay, I can see the... Um, the emojis are written out for me. <laughs> so uh, let me read that again. I see face purple crying. That's that's me. That's all of us. <laughs> and pride heart rainbow filly. Oh. <laughs> um, but yes, I totally understand what you mean. Thank you, Nick. Hmm. <laughs> I just want to soak in that vibe for a second. (sighs) 
yeah, it's it's sad, but I was also just like connecting with those friends on the other side, assuming they're over there. I believe in, re- in reincarnation, so like maybe they're a baby again. I don't know, but I don't think the turnover is that fast. <laughs> also, the soul is probably eternal, so <coughs> it's like a text. They'll get it eventually. Maybe back when they log back on after their next life. (laughs) I used to feel like an infidel when I said I believed in reincarnation. And then I learned like every religion or like all the indigenous spiritualities believe in it. Um, And like lots of religions do. So like whatever. (laughs) I'm not going to be ashamed of it anymore. But (coughs) I don't believe in anything... 1000% Maddie taught me that um that's bad because the truth it's hard to know for sure you can only prove what's not true according to the sciences men scientists people they can be women too of course um and women can be men and men can be women (laughs) um anyways what was i doing next oh i'm gonna sing um my next song and it's a very spiritual one so that was a good segue Mm, everybody let's stretch our chest backwards instead of forwards for a second oh oh yes this feels good um thank you so much for being here i love you guys i really do i went a few weeks without doing this and I started to really, really miss it and crave it. Um, It's just a really special way we get to connect in the digital age. I'm grateful for, despite all the negative sides, there are some positives. And we just have to weed through through it all and find what works for us. And um, I'm honored that coming to Anna B TV works for you. It's uh, thrilling. (laughs) Totally. Glad I'm not the only one with an open mind. Well, I got this really cool chair uh, at the thrift shop. There's one thrift shop that I always come home with furniture. Um, Yeah, so I'm going to feature that in this (laughs) song. Oh, I think I have to play. No, no, I don't have to play the piano. Okay. Oh, it's getting toasty in here. I think it's this wig. It's really um, synthetic. It's not breathable hair. Okay. There we go. That's more modest. Yeah, I wrote this song kind of like, I barely remembered I wrote it, and then I went back and listened, and I was like, oh, that's good. I like that. That's really good. Now you can see my mouth. I know lip reading is important when you want to know the lyrics. Oh, the mechanics of sitting in a chair. Desert Bloom and I 
always imagine I'm out in the desert. Maybe it's dusk. It's just after the rain. And everything is blooming. Well, uh, there you go. I think everybody's enlightened now, so you're welcome. <laughs> I wrote that song while I was studying Alexander Technique, and the relationship between singing and breathing obviously is very close. So while I sing that song, I have time to take in a full deep breath and sing out on the full breath out. And now I feel extremely oxygenated. <laughs> Is anyone else feeling extremely oxygenated? <laughs> oh, 
I'm glad the words were clear. I know I performed that once before and I only used the effects mic and it was completely unintelligible. So I'm happy that it was intelligible. Oh my goodness. Well, this, this is just getting far too warm under here. <laughs> oh, Ooh. Um, well, I did want to talk a little bit about my manifestation journey. I know I talked about my dentist journey, my holistic dentist journey. Um, all 12 of you who watched, thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to articulate it because <laughs> I've been trying to master manifestation um, for a few years now. It sounds really woo-woo and witchy to talk about it. <laughs> like I'm trying to rig the system and get what I want out of life. Um, but yeah, I've been doing this thing called the pathway to be magnetic. And <sighs> maybe it's just not even articulable. But I did just sign up to be an affiliate because I think it's such a great program. Also, I really nerd out, geek out. Um, if you do ever sign up, let me know and I can um, just go blue in the face telling you all the things about it. Um, thanks, Bart. Glad you enjoyed this batch of songs. Yeah, I feel like I am getting really good at this stuff. I don't know. Uh, there's like a synergy between performing, live streaming, songwriting, and recording. I got my turntable spinning and they are like feeding off of each other. Um, and I've been listening to Sigur Ross. We listened last night, so I felt like my cover of Daughter's Song was very inspired by some of Sigur Ross's sounds. It's kind of cool, like I'm just puttering around and then I'll stumble into a sound that I've enjoyed hearing for years. And then I'm like, oh my God, I know how to make this now. It's like... <gasps> a very exciting moment and when I make that new discovery I'm like oh I'm doing it this is how they do it ah. <sighs> yeah um I don't know it's hard to talk about manifesting just kind of off off the cuff but basically it's legit because you you're manifesting from your subconscious beliefs like have you ever wanted something and then like couldn't have it you couldn't have it and then like something shifted inside of you and then you got it or you were strong enough to like get through that challenge that is step one um I feel like my brain isn't working too well after music <laughs> which is a good thing actually like that's what we want right we want to be in our hearts and relaxed um unless we're working on something that requires our brains um yeah, but I'm just trying to say it's legit. Maybe I'll talk more about it later before I sing so that I can actually articulate ideas. Um, but yeah, uh, manifesting is also about taking steps forward in your life. So the secret was like not quite right with um, if you've seen that movie. But I spent a long time experimenting with it because I've manifested some crazy stuff in my life. Um, I even worked at this recycling center where we would think about what we wanted. We'd be like, today I want to manifest this. And like, it would come down the waste stream because we'd be like sorting all this trash and recycling. And like, we would, like somebody was like, I want some aviator glasses today. And they got it in the trash that day. And it's like, like you have to admit when you see something like that over and over, I'm sorry, but there's more at work than meets the eye here. Um, Yes, that's all I'll share about that now because I'm way too relaxed and happy. <laughs> also, my throat hurts from making music all morning and then performing it for you. Um, but yes, thank you for being here. If you're still watching, um, let me know your thoughts about maybe if you've manifested anything synchronistic. And yeah, I know that it's it's a spiritual kind of thing. Many people could probably attribute it to religious things, but I think it's also the physics of the universe too. So I don't know. 
I'm just a musician, man. I'm too hot to keep wearing this, so <laughs> I think this is the end of the live stream. I'm just going to read the last comment. Hello, Mimi. Uh, my favorite song, uh, mon chanson, pr ma chanson préférée. I can't remember if song is female or male. Anyways, my favorite so singer is, oh, chanteuse. <laughs> chanteuse is singer, not chanson is song. Probably Aurora. Yeah, she has been a major influence for the past few years. I just love the love that she brings to what she does. She and she's just incredible, top notch. Yeah, Aurora, all caps. Um, she is my biggest influence. I like Florence and the Machine a lot. I just rediscovered a band called Moom, M-U-M, with an accent on the U, and that I really like them, and I lost track of them over the years, and now I found them. Uh, like, I never knew who they were. I just heard them in dance class, so check out Moom if you want. It's like the, she's in there with Sigur Ross. Yeah, her song Exists for Love is amazing. That's so cool. That's your favorite ever. Or, or just your favorite Exists for Love. Okay, it's just your favorite. It's not your favorite ever. <laughs> there is a cover of that, or no, a remix of that song by Benjamin Mork, I think. And I actually like that better. Exists for Love, Benjamin Mork. He gets, he mics uh, all the sounds of the old pianos he plays and then um, like adds effects to them and loops them and it's just even better <laughs> oh yeah this is my little pony <laughs> sometimes i like to be a little pony <laughs> oh i'm so glad you like mom yeah i danced to them in dance class like for a whole semester, it was like my improv college dance class. It was obviously very formative for me, very fun. <laughs> it turned me into an octopus with my little pony hair. Um, yeah. Mom, uh, yeah, I thought I discovered Sigur Ross and I thought all those songs were by Sigur Ross, but half of them were by Moon. So just like I was, I had never heard anything like that before. So it was just like my ears would feast on it while I danced to it. Well, the main reason why I wore this wig um, is I was getting in touch with my inner child. And when I was little, I really liked dressing up. Um, we would do these like dance videos, but I would spend most of the time getting dressed up. Um, I just decided I'm going to start dressing up for me. In the past, I would spend so much time worried about what I look like and like wearing the perfect thing. I don't know, it was dumb. I would stress out so much about what I was wearing when I was just going to sing. But I would also like channel my pre-show anxiety into my outfit. It was just like something to do and focus on. But yeah, I think those days are over. I think I'm just gonna play in my costume closet and wear something that my inner child would be like, that looks good. <laughs> um, at least for now. Yeah, I actually got to go to Iceland and play a show that was epic. I probably could go back. It was while those flights to uh, Europe were really affordable through Iceland. Um, yeah, and the, the landscape is all they talk about. It's it's really... Mostly it's black rocks with moss on top of them and then like steaming egg fart craters. <laughs> That's what I saw. Um, and I did see some elf homes... But basically, it's like a windswept, storm-battered island in the ocean. And uh, Reykjavik is the only place that doesn't, that's like down in a little hollow, so it doesn't get battered by wind. So I think these artists are like poor, and they're living in a little shack out on the edge of the island. And they're just like out in the elements, out in the storms, just like surviving the cold, dark winter. And they're writing these like 
really strange, quiet little songs that are like epic. I love seeing how like landscape um, and local culture affects music. You know, I do feel like living here in Appalachia, you know, brings a certain flavor to my music and I'm happy to be like a little bloom of Appalachia. <laughs> Obviously, I love Bjork. Yeah, she's another favorite. Um, very formative for me because I listened to her growing up. And um, she's just like kind of like a deity to me now. Like I check in with what she's doing and I'm like, all hail. She's doing something so cool. Um, yeah, so definitely love Bjork. But this little flower is feeling a little wilty. So I'm going to peace out, but definitely come back next week. And BTB is on. I'm prepping for a puppet show that I may or may not be playing live to. Probably going to play live. It's just three songs. Um, but that's in Charlottesville, I think on the 30th in the dusk hour. Because it's a puppet show with light. So I think it's like 7 to 9 or something. More details soon. Uh, and it's the piece I'm playing music to is Eco Spiritual Puppet Show. And I don't think there's any words to it. Yeah, that makes sense. So it's just light and shadow. Um, so that's going to be cool. Can't wait to meet the people putting that together. Love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry it was short, but I guess we just blazed through those songs. So that was really fun. Bye. Oh, hello, Moon Madness. Sorry that... It's over. I'll try to, yeah, put it in your calendar. Fridays at 1230 because we, we doing it. We doing it.